While other economies grind to a halt, Thailand's is moving along nicely. As a result, the fast-paced, congested capital city is coming under increasing pressure. Bangkok is experiencing a construction boom. Vacant land is being turned into yet more high-rise hotels, apartments and sprawling malls. Some believe that for the sake of the people, it's time to stop. Right now we are raising our kids in the department store more than in the library, more than in the park. Next in the development pipeline is the largest green space in the heart of the city, more than 100 hectares. It's a partially used railway yard that's become an overgrown train cemetery. It certainly wasn't by design, but the mere fact that a large part of this land has been abandoned for so long means that it's already an important green area for Bangkok. It's owned by the State Railway of Thailand, which wants to lease it to property developers. Opponents want the area turned into a museum and public park and have started an online campaign. But it's also about changing the mindset of residents who have simply accepted Bangkok's concrete expansion without questioning what's best for the city. Look at Bangkok in 50 years from now and I want everyone to, to think about what kind of life or what kind of um, city you want Bangkok to be. And can we start doing it now? The law says that 30% of developments must be green. But like many laws in Thailand, there are loopholes and a lack of enforcement. The government and railway officials wouldn't give us an interview. But one of the men responsible for drafting laws and advising the government is backing the call to save the area. The development in Thailand for the past 30 years is like, uh, it's not sustainable. We have to live in sustainable environment. At the very least, opponents want public consultations to take place before any decisions are made. That's a largely foreign concept to big business and government in Thailand. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.